Paul, thank you so much. It is Black History Month, and we want to highlight Black-owned businesses creating waves in different spaces. And today's guest is taking the skincare world by storm. Say hello to the CEO and founder of Butter Skin, Dorian Renaud. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Today. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you're nearby. Yes. And this wasn't too far of a drive. I know traffic no. is always a mess for people <laughs> yes. out there. So, yes. thank you for coming. Um, your skincare line is insane. It's been growing like crazy. Yeah. You're in major stores. Yeah. You won awards. For yeah. your skincare brand, so you're making I, me blush. Well, I'm just saying, like I'm just so impressed, and I want you to take me back to the beginning when you were an actor. Yes. And you ran into some of those issues where you said, "Hey, something clicked. I need to move forward with this. This needs to be a business I launch." Absolutely. I mean, I'm sure you can relate. You know, under the cameras, and you're putting makeup on, and you know, you're trying to look your best, and. After I started doing things in entertainment, I realized that after they took the makeup off my face that I didn't quite look the same. But I always had problematic skin growing up, whether it was uh, you know, imperfections or dark circles, hyperpigmentation, acne, all of those things. And when I would go into department stores, I didn't see anything that was for me or people that look like me with the education that we needed. And so in 2018, you know, I went out on a limb and on faith and I started Butter and here we are. I love it. <laughs> you know? I love the name too, by the way. It was the first name that came to me. You know, I'm from Beaumont, Texas, from the South. So the biggest compliment that you can give somebody is you look smooth as Butter or you look like Butter. And so I was like, how do I want to describe my skin? Butter. I yeah. love it. I think that's great. <laughs> Thank um, you. Okay, so we have come. We still have a lot, a long way to go when it comes to diversity and Absolutely. inclusion, clear across the board. So tell me a little bit about why it was so important to you to have a product like this and what would you like to see um, moving forward? Any changes? Yeah. Well, it was important because you know, we are not uh, just one category. Just because we're black, brown, or have melanin in our skin, you know, there is complexity. So I, I tell people all the time, there's complexity in our complexion. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have a customizable kit where you can pick the moisturizer that works for your skin type. And it's so important to see, you know, representation when you walk into stores. And I take a lot of time with our campaigns and our ads and make sure that beauty is represented, um, you know, how I see beauty. And I think that one thing that we could do is just keep on supporting, you know, brands that are quality, number one. Just because it's a black or brown uh, brand doesn't mean that it is amazing. Let's support quality brands and brands that um, are changing the spectrum and really doing stuff for people's skin. So I like to see more of that, more men in beauty and, you know, just more people that look like me in it. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. I feel like a, a common theme that people say is, I don't see anyone that looks like me on TV. Yes. I don't see anyone that looks like me in books. Um, you know, you're a black entrepreneur. Did you see anyone in this space as an entrepreneur that you looked up to that you said, hey, yeah. I, can, I can do that. You make me believe this is possible. Of course. I mean, I remember growing up and watching people like Puff Daddy and Kimora, uh, uh Lee Simmons, you know, what she did with Baby Fat and how innovative she was with her campaigns and, you know, seeing so many, um, you know, beautiful black and brown actors and entertainers growing up, especially in the 90s and 2000s era, I feel like beauty was so celebrated and then there was this gap of time where, you know, we weren't necessarily diving into celebrating, you know, our melanin. And now we are again. So, you know, that's that's good. But, you know, the greats, I'm from Texas, so, you know, Beyonce always, I'm gonna always give her a shout out. <laughs> I, I think that she's always pushed the, the boundaries when it comes down to yeah. beauty and, and our blackness. So I love that. I yeah. love you. Thank you so much for running out of time, but you're gonna stick with us. Yes, I am. Because we're gonna show off some of the product. Amy Johnson's gonna join us. Yes. We're gonna have skincare tips, tips and tricks so you can take care of your skin the right way. So don't go away. We'll be right back.